Hey viewers, occasionally I get asked about the B-screw that's located on the back of a lot of derailleurs um, and how to adjust it. And it's actually like the least critical of the adjustments you can make on a derailleur. But I'm going to show you like what it does and how to adjust it. What this uh, screw does is it applies tension to this pivot here and controls like how far this uh, derailleur can uh, angle forward. If I tighten it down, it'll kind of pull it back. And if I loosen it, it will allow it to come farther forward. So what that does is it controls how close this guide pulley here can get to the cogs on the cassette or freewheel. If it gets too close, it will pinch the chain between the pulley and the cog. And so you end up with sort of a rubbing like that. You can kind of hear that and you don't want that. On the other hand, if it's too far away like this, it'll still work, but uh, the shifting will be slower and it just is not going to be as crisp and the shifting will suffer. So what you want is to get this pulley close to the cogs, but uh, not so close that you're going to risk the rubbing. To adjust the B-screw, go ahead and shift the uh, front derailleur to the smallest uh, chain ring and shift the rear derailleur to the biggest cog. I'm going to start off by backing the B-screw all the way out. So I'm going to do that by turning this counterclockwise. Like that. Okay, so this is what well, uh, it looks like with the uh, screw backed all the way out. And the chain is pinched between the pulley and the cog there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten down the B-screw so that it backs the uh, pulley away from the, the uh, cog there. And that looks a little bit better. I can even maybe back it off just a little bit more. And that looks better. So the chain is now not pinched between the pulley and the cog. Like I said, this is actually the least critical of the adjustments on the rear derailleur. So you don't need to be really exact. As I said, you just don't want it the chain pinched between the pulley and the cog but again you don't want it so far away as it's going to affect shifting but there's a lot of leeway between those two points. Okay now go back and double check the shifting and shifting is perfect and so there it is all set and you know, if there's issues with shib uh, shifting or rubbing, then I might go back and tweak it a little bit. For the most part, uh, it doesn't make a huge difference. It's like the least critical of the adjustments on the derailleur, but you can maybe fine tune your shifting a little bit. Uh, the only time you really need to mess with it is if you're changing out the freewheel or cassette to one of a different size with like uh, smaller or larger uh, cogs on there, then you might want to go back and tweak it a little bit. But for the most part, you set it, you forget it. And anyway, that's what it is. I hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button so you can see new videos that come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there, pictures and videos and all kinds of stuff. And I'm, I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page, and I have my videos categorized. I have some forums over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.